relative frequency. Now, relative frequency involves calculating a probability for a practical experiment. So it's actually like a physical hands-on experiment that has been performed. And the formula for calculating the probability is relative frequency equals frequency of event over the total number of outcomes. Now, this is basically the same as the probability formula we learned earlier. The only difference being that it's applied in a practical experiment. So let's look at one in example one. So a bag contains red, blue, and green marbles. Let's, let's draw our bag over here. So here's our bag, and inside it you've got a whole heap of marbles. We don't know how many, but we do know that there are only three colors, red, blue, and green. All right, but we don't know how many of each there are. We conduct an experiment where we pull the marble out, record the color, and put the marble back in the bag. The results are in the table below. So when we did the experiment, we pulled a red marble out five times, a blue marble out nine times, and a green marble six times. So what that tells me is that there's probably more blue marbles in this bag than any other color. We don't know exactly how many there are, we just know that there's probably more because it came out more often. Okay. Now, when it says find the relative frequency of, of obtaining a blue marble, all you need to do is go frequency of event. So that just means I had nine blue marbles. And at the bottom is your total. Now, when I add these up, I actually get 20. 9 plus 6 plus 5 is 20. The relative frequency of getting a blue marble is just 9 over 20. And you probably notice it's exactly the same as the probabilities we've done before. So now we've got to calculate the probability of getting a red or blue marble. There's five red and nine blue. So altogether there's 14 marble. Uh, we had 14 times where a red or blue marble was pulled out out of 20. And we should simplify this to 7 over 10 by halving the two numbers.